In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gospel of August 15, 2017. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste, to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah, and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your, mom, of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of my Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to help he has come to the help of his servant Israel, and he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months, and then returned to her home. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'm just going to remain with this very beautiful gospel. Today, the title of my homily will be called The Dormition of the Theotokos. It is an ancient title. I know that in the West we are celebrating the Assumption of the Virgin. But it is very important that we understand, not blindly, but truly and in depth, what this feast today means. You must have noticed the icon that hopefully I was able to present to you at the beginning of this video. There you see the Blessed Virgin Mary lying dead on her bed. All around her are the disciples, the apostles. She is dead, for she died. But right next to her, in a mandorla, which means that nobody saw that except with the eyes of the faith, is standing the Lord Jesus. And the Lord is holding the Blessed Virgin Mary as being a small child but she is alive. It is exactly the reference to the icon of the resurrection of the Lord, the reference to the icon of the incarnation of the Lord. And it is very important that we understand this today. The Virgin did die. I pray to you, dear brothers, that you might pray before God for me because I am working on this book about the Virgin. And up to a few months ago, I was thinking that the title that, wasn't, that hasn't been explained, and I'm, I pretend to explain, explain that, was the greatest title of the Virgin, Kejaritomen, which roughly translated means the one that, ha that was made full of grace. That is the title that the, the Gabriel the Archangel calls her, not out of his own, but out of God's command. What, does, what that means is that the Virgin was made full of the Holy Spirit. Now, whether that happened before she was conceived, after she was conceived, it doesn't matter. She was and is a human person, just a human person. 
she is not like her son, who was divine before incarnation, really became a man, but remained God. Two natures in one person. In Mary, we only have one nature, one nature. But Mary is the completion of the promise of God. Just a few days ago, I was telling you, explaining the transfiguration, that that was the promise, that God had promised by His transfiguring on Mount Tabor before His three apostles, what was going to happen to whoever believed in Him, loved Him, and kept His word and commands, that He would become like Him, just as John, the, gospel, the, the, the one that wrote the Gospel, wrote in his letter. We will be similar to Him because we will see Him as He really is. Now, the Virgin Mary, who by being the, the Kejaritomine, the full of grace, is able to listen, not pushed or enslaved, but totally of, his, of her free will, as a human person, she's able to listen. She is the new Eve, the mother of all the living, granted to us by the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross. She loves God with all her heart, with all her life, with all her strength, and she is obedient. Those three things, those three characteristics that we should also follow enabled her to become the mother of God. She received the Word, who incarnated in herself. Now, she suffered with Christ. Even suffering the spake piercing through her soul, of seeing him, an innocent son, being killed unjustly on the cross. And never ever did she grumble against God. She accepted everything, offering her son and herself. She co-died with him, just as Paul wrote. It's important that, because it takes away for us the fear of death. She co-died with him, and immediately she was co-raised with him. That is what the icon means, that immediately God would not let her taste corruption, because she too was preserved, but she was only a human. Now, the offering of the Holy Spirit is for each of us, but what is, what is missing on us, just as Paul wrote, I complete on my flesh what is lacking on the passion of the Christ. What is that? The passion of the Christ is already perfect, but it is in this part, in this part, in your part of the body of Christ that needs to be fulfilled, and that will happen when we call die. So let's not be afraid of death. Rather, it is a purification and a blessing. It is the passage, of, the passage of us into that new life for the dormition of the Theotokos, that is the Virgin Mary. Her death is her passing of this life onto the new life, for she is also glorious. And it is beautiful because she has presented herself glorious. This image, not painted by a hand, image in the Tepeyac in Mexico, she presented herself glorious to the Indian that met her. And it is the same eternal life that is promised to you and me. To her, I commend all of you. May the Lord be with you. And the blessing of God Almighty, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, descend on you and remain on you forever.